So in this video, we're going to solve the differential equation dy over dx equals 1 half x plus y minus 1. And it wants us to fill in the 9 slope field. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to do x, y, m. If you plug in 1, 1, you're going to get 1 half times 1 is 1 half plus 1 minus 1. It's going to give you zero, so slope is going to be one half over here. So you got to draw a slope that's going to look like one half. So that looks about right. You're going to do the same thing over here. So let's try zero, one. If you plug in zero, one, you're going to get one half times zero. It's going to give you zero. Plus one is one. One minus one is zero. You're going to continue this all throughout. I'm going to pause this video and fill in the rest because this is pretty simple. Okay, the next part of the question says, find the second derivative in terms of x and y. Describe the region in x, y plane for which all solution curves to differential equation are concave up. So, we have our first derivative. Now we have to find the second, which is not hard to do. d2y over dx squared is going to equal the slope of 1 half x. The derivative of 1 half x is 1 half. The derivative of y is dy over dx. Now you're going to substitute dy over a, d2y dx squared is going to equal 1 half plus, well we know y dy over dx equals this over here. So now we're going to write 1 half x plus y minus 1. So now we're going to simplify this and we're going to get 1 half x plus y. 1 half minus 1 is minus 1 half. So now, this is where our second derivative equals. Now, if we want to know where it's concave up, it's where the derivative is greater than 0, right? So we're going to write y equals, I'm getting y by itself, keeping it here. Moving over to 1 half x plus 1 half. And wherever it's greater than 0, that's where this is going to be concave up. Above this line. So above this line. Okay, please bear with me while I clear the canvas so I could do the next part of the question. Okay, so for part C it says... Let y equal f of x be a particular solution to differential equation with the condition 0, 1. Okay. Uh, does f have relative min or max or neither at x equals 0? Justify your answer. Well, the first derivative, dy over dx, equals 1 half x plus y minus 1. So if you want to know if it's a min or a max, you're going to plug this in dy over dx equals 1 half times 0 plus 1 minus 1, which equals 0. So now the question is, is this a min or a max? Don't know. So now we're going to plug in the second derivative, which is what we found in the last equation, which equaled 1 half x plus y minus 1 half. So when we plug in 0, 1, we're basically testing the concavity. So now we're going to get 1 half times 0 is 0 plus 1 minus 1 half, which equals 1 half, which is greater than 0, so it's concave up. If it's concave up and the other derivative equals 0, this now has to be a min because it's concave up. Okay, I'm going to clear the canvas again and answer the last part of the question. Okay, for the last part of the question, it says find the values of the constant m and b for which y equals mx plus b is a solution to the differential. So we have y equals mx plus b. Let me write that down. y equals mx plus b. And we have dy over dx which was given to us in the beginning, 1 half x plus y minus 1. 
dy over dx is the same thing as m, so you could technically substitute, but I think it might be easier doing this, equating the equations 1 half x, plus we know y equals mx plus b, so we're going to plug it in here, minus 1. Now, we're going to pull out the x, because we can factor it out, factor by grouping, so you get 1 half plus m plus you could technically take a 1 out of here and write b minus 1. Okay, so now, if you tested the initial condition given to us, 0, 1, we know that the slope equaled 0. So we could take the 0 and we could plug it in here. So now, we have x times 1 half plus m. Well, this is really in front of x, so it has to be the slope. So we could set these equal to one another. And we know the slope equaled 0 at 0 comma 1 because we found that out before when we plugged it in. So now we're going to solve this. We don't need the x anymore because we're basically trying to solve for m. So now you're going to get m equals negative 1 half. Okay, so now we're going to use this information and we're going to solve this. So, so now we're going to say negative one half because that's dy over dx which is equal to m is going to equal x times one half minus one half which is going to be zero is going to equal to b minus one i'm sorry plus b minus one not equals so now we have negative one half because this part's going to zero out equals b minus one so b has to equal a half. So we have b equals a half, m equals negative one half. And this is one of the annoying types of questions where they expect you to remember that the slope here was zero in part c. And then to basically solve a new m over here. So I don't want to use m. I want to use dy over dx over here and say equals zero. So that way it's not confusing. I hope this video helps.